y'all. So. Hi, y'all. <laughs> Guess what we saw today. <laughs> I was like, Moon Knight. No. <laughs> In the multiverse of madness. I did what I had to do. You cannot control everything, Strange. You opened the doorway between universes. Wanda, what do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. Things just got out of hand. So. Thoughts, opinions. We haven't talked. We, we're starting this thing now. Like we go see the movie and then we don't speak to each other on the ride home. Because right. <laughs> we don't want to influence each other. Number one, but number two, I'm really focused on retaining the information yes. and the things that I saw. So if it comes out once, it. it ain't coming back out for the video. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so let's get into it. Before we jump into today's video, we want to give a huge shout out to our Patreon. Your continued support has turned this channel into a family. If you'd like to be part of the crew and have access to exclusive content as well as live streams, go to www.patreon.com forward slash what we watch in to sign up today. Now, on to the show. <sighs> Your overall feeling just as a whole, start to, start to finish, what do you think? As a whole, I enjoyed it and it was nothing that I thought it was going to be. Same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very much same. I think um, like halfway through, I was like, isn't this supposed to be a horror film? <laughs> Where's the horror? Now, granted, it did start. There were there were moments, mm -hmm. y'all. I had, like jumped out of my she seat. Jumped. <laughs> there there were moments jumped. that just caught me off guard because yeah. I was so focused on the dialogue yeah. and so focused on like what these two the main people in the scene were right. focusing on. That stuff popping up. I was I I knew that it was supposed to be a scary situation. Yeah, but I just wasn't expecting it. <laughs> So there were a few times I was like, ah, yeah, for real. So it got scarier towards the end. But halfway yeah. through, I was like, they, they, when this first was announced, they were like horror film. Yes. And I'm like, where is the horror? Slasher, cutting throats, yes. stabbing, gore, gore. Give it to me. Not, so not much. none of that. <laughs> and I don't think they toned it down because it was Disney. Yeah. But I mean, they had some horror, I guess, horror elements, but it wasn't a true horror film. Exactly. So they should not have promoted it as a horror I film. I thought it was going to be completely left and like super dark the whole yes. way through. Yes. Very um, like ominous feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't get that. It was no. like, it was a fun time. Yes. Like you said, there were elements that were scary. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, it was just kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. This is where this is what we're doing. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. And I think uh, through the first couple of minutes, I think he had turned to me and said, "Oh, so this has nothing to do with Spider Man." <laughs> so backstory in my mind, I was thinking of the scene where Spider Man goes to see Doctor Strange mm -hmm. in Spider Man. Yes. And he asked him, like, you know, I I don't want people to remember me, whatever. And mm -hmm. then the the different branches of the spell happened yeah. then the multiverse opened up so i my brain wasn't connecting that that was the whole plot of the spider-man yeah and so i'm like where's dormammu like where do people coming from the sky right where are all these other like celestial beings or like mm -hmm. you know uh, extraterrestrial beings that are supposed right. to come and add to the chaos right there was none there was none so i'm like that maybe that was on me uh -huh. for making that assumption but, but I thought that it was going to be more of like, we're fighting aliens yeah. as well as doing whatever with, with Wanda. No, I still felt like something else was going to happen because of how it ended. Like yeah. he closed things, but we still felt like some things escaped. Yeah. So I thought we were going to be dealing with that. And I think after, after Spider-Man happened, I totally forgot that there was a possibility of Wanda being the major villain of the movie. I think I assumed that yeah. when it first when they first announced her being in it, and then after seeing WandaVision, it was like she's gonna be the villain. Mm -hmm. But after Spider Man, I completely forgot all about that, and, and so then I'm the like, way their interaction started. I was like, oh, friends, right? So you're gonna help us, right? No, you're just gonna help us as a Scarlet Witch. She's not gonna be as bad, or you might get crazy right. for a moment and we'll reel really you back mm -hmm. in. But I was like, no, multiverse. We're gonna get different versions of Doctor Strange, different mm -hmm. versions of Spider Man. Tony Stark's coming back. Yeah. Captain America is going to be like, all the people we know, yeah. we're going to see them and there's just going to be chaos of yeah. people not trusting each other and that's going to be the madness and mm -hmm. I was expecting some of that and that did happen so I was just like, okay. Yeah. Um, I think I was also a along that line of like her 
being kind of like an anti-hero. Yes. Um, I do think I was expecting something more formidable to come and like, she's the only way we can defeat this thing, right. whatever it is. Right, right. But like more of like the Scarlet Witch will be used to defeat this other thing. And then at the end of that, maybe it's, give there's me, no turning it. back. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Something. Mm-hmm. So completely wrong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but when it started, I was like, what the heck is going what is on? Happening? I was like, first of all, ponytail. Ponytail. With the streets? What? With the highlights. What? No. Okay. And then who is this little girl? Right. And they speak it in Spanish. Right. <laughs> I was like, did we come to the right theater? Right. And I was just like, what is, I don't understand. Mm-mm. What? <laughs> it was... Oh, it was instant confusion. Yes. Instant confusion. Yes. And then I was trying to figure out, like, when he was, when, um... Wasn't there some conversation where she was like, is this the only way? Or like, he was like, there's like, in order to defeat this thing, like, this is what I have to do. Like, this is the only way to do it. When he started taking her powers. Oh yeah. She, he was like, I'm sorry. This is the only way. And so my brain was like, oh, another infinity war in game situation. Mm -hmm. But like in their universe, I didn't know. I I don't know what I thought was going to happen, but like how it progressed from that scene. I didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. To right, because we didn't know what was um, going on. We didn't know what that book was, the exactly. whole point, what she and was, I was doing. Like, yeah, we're well aware that there are multiple Doctor Stranges. Like, we know mm-hmm. that there are, you know, multiverses. So, it wasn't odd to see him with the ponytail, but I was just confused at, like, what the, what the mission was. Yeah, I, I guess I didn't know that was a different Doctor Strange. I thought it was ours. Ours. He just yeah. grew a ponytail. And I'm like, how long has it been after? <laughs> is, I'm thinking, okay, so this is the aftermath of Spider-Man. So Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. And it's been some time. He got a ponytail. <laughs> Stuff happens here, Stuff Rose. happens, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, no. They went through that first portal. Or she, she popped up in uh, our New York. Yes. And it was like, uh, oh. Yeah, what? Okay. Okay, we're in this. Mm-hmm. One thing, this was very fast paced. There yes. were no lulls in this in this uh, movie. There were a couple moments where you and I were both like, okay, get to it. But it was literally like a few seconds. And right. And they got to whatever it was that we wanted them to yeah. get to. But um, there weren't, I don't remember feeling like there was these long drawn out speeches. Like, right. oh, I have to have this monologue to introduce myself or whatever's about to happen. Or, yeah. You know, it's like thing. every little thing had a purpose. You can, t- it felt like maybe there were some scenes where they may have had, the scene may have been longer. There may have been some stuff and, and they were it. just like, no, mm-hmm. let's, let's cut. Let's get to the next part. Yeah. Um, so I think like the beginning of the film might have been a little choppy as it was getting from scene to scene to scene, but it wasn't, it didn't take me out of it. Yeah. But they totally got us with Wanda and, and, uh, Steven meeting up. Hello? Because. I was like his friend. I was like, this when is her she healing. bringing the girl, I'm like, yeah, bring her there. I was like, it does kind of make sense. Is. But then she said her name and was like, wait, I caught that immediately. Mm-hmm. I was like, no. I said, oh. No, how no. How you, who you been talking to? Mm-hmm. How you know? And she was like, oh, shit. I messed it up, didn't I? Yeah, say your name. (laughs) You ain't gonna give it to me, ain't it? Right. (laughs) And then revealed everything. And then then I like how America was looking at him like, so you told the girl, the lady that was supposed to help me, who's actually not gonna help me, who wants me dead, exactly where I am. And she's coming. And she's coming. Mm -hmm. I do think they should have taken her somewhere else. But I, I don't know, like, it seems that she can sense where she's at, though. Right. So I think that was what I was trying to understand. It's like, does she have some kind of tracking beacon? Like Wanda can sense the power or the energy that she has. Something like that. Or using the, the, um, the book. Yeah. The book of the dead. I don't know what it's called. (laughs) Use the dark, the dark hold. The dark hold. So I thought the dark hold maybe gave her power to be able to locate where the girl was. Either that or she could just sense her energy. Right. So even though we didn't get the people, the, the Avengers that we know, when yes. the, what's his name popped up Mord, Mordo 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 popped up you know everybody thought he was gonna be I was like villain villain yeah. and he was just like no my brother hey welcome and they're like no okay now we're gonna go meet the Illuminati and it's like what it's like and that's then, not the one that I know right right <laughs> and then when they started revealing people and they said Captain Marvel and it was old girl I was like yes went up yes I was like she she got to be Captain Marvel in a universe in a universe yeah um and then they show motherfucking Reed, they showed John Krasinski popped on the screen. I was just so happy that they gave that to us because he had yes. been rumored for so long. Yes. It's kind of it's like did they just go to him and be like, hey, so you want to like we kind of we got to make people it happen. Talking, the people want you if you have the time. Read the script. Come on, 
it's just it's just Say real these short. Words. Yeah, it's just real words. short. Uh-huh. You ain't even and, got a book up for yes. it. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that was just so great. Like, I, I think, like, so people actually clapped. People were excited. To, yes, I was so excited to see him. But then that voice happened. The, the, listen. The slow rolling. I almost got out of my seat. Yeah. Because of the excitement. Yeah. Patrick. Patrick. Patrick Stewart. Patrick. And see, I think I do remember a rumor of them saying that he was going to be in this. Yeah. Because one of the things I expected from this was that it was going to explain... X Men, like yeah. it was going to really bring everybody out mm-hmm. into our universe. I was waiting for the "Let There Be Mutants" quote something, to happen. You know, yeah, something like that happened. So when I heard that he might be in, it, I was like, okay, so that that's another thing. Yeah. We're gonna get all this, but it was just in a different way. Mm-hmm. But we did not get them for a very long time, unfortunately. I was so excited to see him, and then he was quickly taken away. Everybody <laughs> was just the way. What was his name? Blah or who? The one that could say, he said, just with a just whisper, he could take you out. I wanted to say tune in for it because I don't know what his name was, but that's what was on his head, his little helmet. Mm-hmm. So that's what I called him in my mind. Okay. Now I've said it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I would say like, I didn't catch it. Black Bolt or something like. I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it. Mm-hmm. But when Baby. she took away his mouth. Th- that alone for me would have been enough like oh she is not one to f with right N- my my bad girl i take it back then out of He's normal dead. like a normal human reaction you freak out and you're like ah! dead dead brain exploded yeah and the others are just like well we're gonna try to do something <laughs> <laughs> the way she took out reed you didn't have to turn that man into confetti you didn't have to do that to what? him why Why would you? Ribbons? This is not a totem pole. What are you doing? And then Captain Carter. Stood no Tragic. Oh. She had just said the line. We were getting ready to tuck in for a good fight. Yeah, no. Slice and half. Slice and half. Which makes you wonder. No one ever thought to throw the shield at Cap that way. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Because when you think about it, they just people. They just the people. You got a little serum in you, but you're still a people right. with skin. And this is vibranium. Like and you I don't mean, be regenerating. Right. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. It would have been over a long time ago. Don't let none of the other villains see. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For future reference. Don't use this as an example. Exactly. Um oh, Yeah, man. that was that was rough. Yeah. I don't wanna believe that Captain Marvel is dead. She just got a little squished. But I didn't see enough. She didn't come back though. We didn't see nothing. She gone. She was hiding under there recuperating. Okay. Catching her breath. Maybe. Because they cut two different fights. I mean they just show her hand go like because honestly though she's supposed to be like the most powerful. I was surprised that that was even a fight the way it was. I mean yes because uh, I'm trying I mean Scarlet which is strong I mean she has the, the magic and stuff like that yeah. so I can understand it being a fight but I just thought that she was more powerful because um, I know she was using her power to draw things out of her and I, it's like she took out like her costume like her helmet and yeah, she was taking off her mask and yeah, stuff yeah I was wondering oh, so maybe... if that was pulling power from her maybe. because we know that Wanda's magic comes from the Mind Stone mm-hmm. Captain Marvel's magic would come from the Tesseract. Tesseract, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Space um, I guess we just don't know how this one, how this Captain how Marvel became. got her powers. Mm-hmm. We assume it could be the same as Captain Danvers. Um, yeah. our, our. So if that's true, then I guess, I guess the powers can pull from each other. So maybe when she was pulling her mask and her helmet and stuff off, she was pulling her power. And so that's why when a building falls on you, you did. You know, maybe that's what was happening. That's a very good point. Yeah. And that could be. Yeah. That could be, I was just trying to keep up alive. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, and if she didn't do that, then that just means she just really knocked out under there. Yeah. And just needed some time to heal. And it was just, you just stay asleep it too long. It's going to take a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then taking out Professor, that's cold. First of all, the way. She ain't had to do him like that. For, can he be in your mind and get to what he needs to, like, don't interrupt. Right. How you go inside your own brain to kill somebody? What? Like, and she could have just, like, poisoned him a little bit, something no. like that, in fear with his mind. Crack. No, she ain't had to crack his neck. Dead. He was just trying to you help gotta you. You got to feel it. Because now you in my mind playing games. <laughs> so I'm about to kill you. 
in in the spiritual world yeah. like what it's messed up man crazy and that scared me yes <laughs> Yes. as well she yes. popped out looking like death I can't do it right um, I guess you know she was the horror part because when she went in there and she got messed up there was blood and why well, because it wasn't really her blood it was everybody else's right. goo and stuff on her yeah um, and she was chasing after them crazy but I, I want to ask the question now if he would have succeeded he uh, Professor Xavier mm-hmm. if he would have succeeded in pulling her out of that rubble in her mind like what would that have led to what would have happened if he would have been able to get her out. There may have um, been, we may have seen like some type of internal struggle between Wanda and the Scarlet Witch, yeah. which I'm still just like, Wanda, you can't beat the Scarlet Witch. Nobody can beat the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. So we just would have just restarted. Or like, was it a projection? Like she mm-hmm. made him think that you, like you thought you were seeing something, but you're not really seeing nothing. I mean, honestly. I got you to a place so I can get you. Yeah, honestly. Because she that, I, that feels more plausible. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to talk about how easy it was to destroy the dark hole, though. Because I don't, we didn't, it just looked like a regular dagger that they would have. I mean, I assume they might have some incantation on it, but yeah, explain that to us. Otherwise, it's like I could have grabbed my knife and stabbed it and it would have disappeared. It's like a situation, <laughs> right. It's like a situation of, it made me think of Harry Potter mm-hmm. um, when they destroyed the diary with the basilisk fang. Yeah. It's like, okay, the bas- it's a fang, it has power, it's a book. <laughs> What 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 are we doing? Right. What it's a book. Yeah. Um. But yeah, they did make the dark hole seem like it's supposed to be this super strong, um. Relic, I guess you could yeah. say. I don't know how else to call it, but I just felt like it would be a lot more sturdy. <laughs> yeah. Like it would. You you guys have to go find some infinity stones and throw it at it or something. You gotta like, know an incantation to yeah. get in it in order to rip a page out of stuff. I don't know right. what, and, but not that. Right, and I get that you guys are all like sorcerers and stuff. You got, yeah. you know, your magic and stuff. And so maybe do you guys all get trained on, this is what you do if you come across the dark hole. <laughs> Step one. Right. Get the book. Right. <laughs> but yeah, so I think the, the way I let it slide mm-hmm. in my mind was like, okay, so the sword that she used must have some kind of special whatever yeah. to get through it and... Because we later find out that the dark hold is actually a place versus right. an actual book, maybe it's a physical book, but it's not a physical book, if that makes sense. Yeah. Maybe it's that kind of situation, yeah. too. Um, mm. I don't know. Uh, I'm glad that Wong made it out alive. There were several times where I thought they were going to kill him so that Doctor Strange would become the source of again. And I again. don't want And it. I was like, please don't do that. No. Please Why do they got to sacrifice my dog? Right. So I'm glad that that didn't happen. He want the job. Right. Mm-mm. Yeah, I was I, very happy that he made it through. Yeah. I do wonder, though, if they're ever going to do that where Doctor Strange has to be the Source Supreme again mm-hmm. or if they're just not going to have that happen. Like, just let Wong get locked up or something. Yeah. Don't don't kill him. Don't ever kill him. <laughs> or just, Doctor Strange just let him be the Source of Supreme because Source of Supreme shouldn't be doing the stuff that Stephen Strange be trying also, to do. Also, because Sorcerer's, the Supreme has rules. That, yes, well, supposed he's to supposed to. Rules. So, Stephen be wanting to do what he want to do. Exactly. So, it's I think this work. works better for it him. It does. It does. Mm-hmm. Um, One thing, though, that really did confuse me. Wanda is supposed to be a Nexus being, right? That's what yeah. they're called. And my understanding of Nexus beings is that they are the same in every universe. There should only be one of them. So I didn't understand oh. that she would have to take over or kill another version of herself. There shouldn't be multiple versions of her. She is supposed to exist in all universes. So, so I, I, that I'm a little confused by. It, so if, uh, maybe y'all let me know in the comments if I'm wrong on my understanding of an Nexus being. Yeah. So now I'm wondering if the, the versions of her that we are seeing, because Wanda is a person, so I'm wondering if they're just her. Like, just human. Yeah. Not, like, never having gone through what she went through. And... Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't... We saw that she had magic, though. The Wanda that she took over had magic. But is that because she was possessing her? No, I think she had magic without when she wasn't possessing her, I think. Okay. I just don't, maybe those ones just don't know they're the Scarlet Witch. So maybe they haven't gotten to the point. Mm. I don't know. I guess that's confusing. In our universe, she created them. But in the other universes, it doesn't necessarily mean she created them. She may have had them naturally. Yeah. I don't know. But also, I'm surprised we didn't see no Vision in these other ones, too. So, did Vision die in every right. one? Did they get divorced? I don't know. I mean, obviously, 
if they dealt with Thanos, that means he would have got the Mind Stone, so that makes sense for Vision to be dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm also just wondering, was Thanos a thing in every universe for real like that? And he won Maybe. in every universe? Oh. Or won oh. or did something? No, that's a very good question. Because yeah. now I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, we, we do have different versions of these characters. I mean, we saw from Loki the different versions of him. Right. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they all act the same. Right. Or have the same uh, motive mm-hmm. in every universe. That's very interesting. I, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> but um, they gave us a zombie. <laughs> that was lovely. Zombie strange. Yes. With his ponytail. Yes. I'm, I'm sad that it happened at the end. Obviously, it needed to uh, mm-hmm. going along with the story. But yeah. um, I'm sad that it happened at the end because I'm like, I wanted more of like thriller. Give yeah. us, <laughs> give us the ticking and the you yeah, know, give us all of that. It's crazy that it was just kind of like watching What If over again. Yes, it's like that's crazy. Yes, that was fun. It was. It was. Fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Yeah, America. What's her deal? I ain't never seen this woman in my life. No. I never heard of her. I've heard of her, I think, when researching other stuff. Mm-hmm. But didn't really... I didn't know what her power is. I didn't know that she was able to travel across universes mm-hmm. like that. And it's interesting that she said there's none of her in another one. So I'm like, so she's a nexus being, she right? She has to be. I mean, she can if exist in everyone. Yeah. Correct. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think about that until just until you asked that question. Yeah. So. And I don't know how, how necessarily what that means. Like you don't exist in other universes or that you can just hop around in universes. I don't know. So I, I need to look up for sure what a nexus being is. I think uh, the only, if I have one disappointment about the movie, it's just that it's not one that really connects to the other films yet. And I feel like when this one came out, they made it sound like this is going to be a major part of the next phase that's going to affect every single movie that comes up after that. Well, I mean, if we, I think the only part that I can, I can say would indicate that is the end, the end credit with, uh, Charlize. Yeah. Which, what? What is that? (laughs) But welcome to the, welcome to Marvel. (laughs) Yeah. And then like the, the, him having that third eye. Yeah. Like what, what does any of that mean? Right. Um, so I, I, so I'm sure that has something to do with what's coming up next. I just don't know how impactful that's going to be. Right. We like, just don't have little matter? things that like connect mm-hmm. and stuff. Um, Unless they're just things that we didn't pick up on first time around. True. That show that, oh, this is going to happen or this is indicating right. something's coming up. Um, it's interesting that even though the dark hold was destroyed, that he was still able, he still had that dark, the, the third eye. So the evil Steven I don't know if that's what we call him yeah um he was he was saying that you know it gets in you Mm -hmm. so maybe it's not bound by the physical like place maybe the dark hold is some kind of sentient existence that so even though like kind of like a parasite situation where it attaches to you so even though Wanda's going around destroying everything it doesn't matter it's out because it's attached to somebody that's that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, get in you, he said, and hold on. Yeah, and it's people know the spells, right? Like they don't have maybe they don't have them memorized. Because yes, I'm like, see, even if know. it's destroyed, if they know would you the not spell, still be able to call on that, that magic or that power. I don't know. That's interesting. Mm. That fight scene with them in the music note, music notes was hilarious. First of all, me being a nerd, yeah, loving music the way that I love it, I'm like, you better hit him with the treble clef and the, right and the the spaces and the lines. Right. And yes, yes, this is great. <laughs> this is everything. But also, I laughed a little bit because I'm like, yeah, what? what? <laughs> Why are we fighting with music? Right. You didn't turn the music sheets into a weapon Swords or something. You're or just like, no. Let me take the notes out the actual and hit you the with page. the notes. It was very Jane. From Doom Patrol, but that yes. that one, um, the lady that be talking with the words. Yes. <laughs> that was that. nice, yeah. <laughs> but maybe that speaks to the fact that Steven loved music, so mm, it was maybe. like just a little ode to you. You can fight with some, some yeah. notes. I don't know. Yeah. But um, that was fun. I yeah, like that part. Yeah. So in the beginning when they first met America, mm-hmm. 
she had asked them if they had any, they knew anything about multiverses. Mm -hmm. And he brought up Spider-Man. Yeah. So, he just, I guess, he just erased the memory of Peter Parker, but he still knows that Spider-Man opened up the multiverse. Because Spider-Man exists, Peter Parker does not. Right. But Peter Parker is the one that went to him and said, hey, help me out and have everyone forget me. And that caused the multiverse to open up. Right. So I guess I'm just wondering, like, how does his memory work to know of Spider-Man? He's always this whole thing with Spider-Man. He didn't erase the actual events that were happening? No. So... I don't Did they think, think they... So now is it like all those things happened and everyone just saw... Is it possible that he's the only one that remembers? No, he said... Remember he said, everyone that loves you, we will so, not remember you. So they won't remember him, but maybe Doctor Strange remembers the events that happened. He's the only one that remembers the events. The, because he had to stop it. I guess I just want to know what his memory yeah. looks like to know... Hmm. You know, I'm confused by that. Yeah. You would think if he says Peter Parker doesn't exist, I, I maybe like somehow all the events would have been reversed or erased or like Something. never happened. Yeah. Like timeline's been pruned type situation. Right. So. But we know that MJ still had, was injured. She had that bandaid on her forehead. Yeah. She still had like the necklace was cracked. So something happened. I just don't know how everyone else's memory is for that event. Yeah. And I just, when he says multiverse, like, what do you know that happened? I. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, was that a mistake? Right. Or, or it is means it like something... a wink, like, you thought I forgot, but right. I really know, but right. y'all don't know. Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, he, like, he said Spider-Man, he mm-hmm. didn't say Peter Parker, but just I just need to know, how can you still say multiverse? Yeah. How does that still make sense to you? Something happened? I don't know. Because, like, I can understand him being aware of the multiverse, being... Um, a wizard. Right. <laughs> and I can also understand him being aware of Spider-Man because Avengers. But connecting the two, the way things played out, I don't think he should have been able to do that. Right. Unless he actually remembers. Right. Unless every time, he, like if his memory says he had an interaction with Peter Parker, his mind changed it to just Spider-Man. And it's Spider-Man in his costume the entire time. But he also should... I don't know. The whole mm-hmm. thing started because he said, I don't want people to remember me. So does he know that he had to erase who the, I, that he had to erase his identity? Does he know that? And... Yeah, I don't know. Because also... Cause when does I, it start? Like, when does it start? Like, right. You, you told me that you don't want nobody to remember so after this part. <laughs> right. Or it's like, I did the spell. We didn't see what happened to Doctor Strange after the spell was done. No. So were you up there and just being like, Hmm. What am I? What Maybe am I doing? He actually here? didn't care about him, and so he remembered. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "I said that, you know, but I don't love him. Nice. I don't love nobody." I don't, fuck <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. I'm confused. <laughs> Do we know where our Mordo is? No. I'm wondering if he's going to be a problem, or yes. the the one that we saw in this film. If he's going to come back, like that version of him, if he'll come back. I don't know. Because um, you just left him down there in that hole. After they fought, right? He didn't come back out. I didn't see him he come back out. Yeah, we didn't see him come back out. So unless he's... I mean, he's... I don't know if we're going to be jumping back into other universes. Mm. I don't know how they're going to do this. Because like I said, we know that Fantastic Four, that they're coming. Yeah. We know that X-Men are coming. Mm-hmm. I thought this was going to explain it. To yeah. kick it off. And it didn't. Because everybody that we knew, they killed them. They did. I mean... And I really thought, what did she say? It's called a convergence? Is that what they yes. said it was? Uh, no, it's, uh, I thought it started with an I. An incursion or something? An In- incursion. Excursion, something? Incursion, I think it <laughs> something. is. Something. Um, they caused this event. I thought it was going to just be left open. Like, yeah. I honestly was expecting an ending like uh, Infinity War, where chaos happened and there's no end. Mm-hmm. No closure. And that's why we just have weird stuff that's we have x-men exactly. and fantastic four stepping out of portals mm-hmm. like our worlds are collided and yeah. we we're dealing with it that's what i was expecting to happen and that's not what happened so i don't know what's happening <laughs> it ended real nice and neat it did and it ended well i mean except for him falling out in the street apart from that piece um 
it could have ended there and then we never get another Doctor Strange ever again. The way that it was like wrapped up. Yeah. So maybe they just need to like not let's not give him too much because we want to make more movies. Right. <laughs> so we'll give him this little bit and then hold on to the rest mm-hmm. and give him some more weirdness later. I, I don't so know. So for us in our universe, what counts as the incursion? Is that what we're calling it? Mm-hmm. What what counted as that? What two what two universes collided? I mean, you talking about like what Charlize was saying? Yeah, so like maybe it's not us. Maybe it's something that he was doing to stop Wanda someplace else that caused in another universe. Yeah, like two, two other, other universes, yeah, not yeah. one with ours. Because yeah. I don't think just America jumping through the universes counts. Like it's actually something has to happen to make them collide. I believe so. And I didn't see how ours collided with mm-hmm. them. So because I mean, t- besides the little octopus eyeball thing. Um, they jumped out like they weren't really were they really fooling around in our earth after Kamertosh so, yeah and I guess I'm trying to figure out like what it actually what actually do they mean by like the world's colliding what actually counts as an event not necessarily people crossing multiverses or is it like the world the universe is physically colliding into each other like what because actually when is we it? To, when we saw, um, what you call it, uh, Evil Steven, the stuff was like melting and all that kind yeah. of stuff. So you would think somehow maybe there's a portal that was left open mm-hmm. and so one reality is running into another one. Mm-hmm. Or I don't know how they would physically yeah. smash into each other. Right. Did we, should we have watched something. Loki again? <laughs> Because I'm like, what the timelines say? Does that have anything to do with the universe? Like, are the timelines different universes? Yes? Correct? I mean, honestly, didn't... In Loki, the, they had the timelines. They said the timelines were m- merging with each other, right? Yeah. They were colliding. Their, yeah. Things were getting messed up. Yeah. So, it, I wonder if that's... But Doctor Strange didn't do nothing. Yeah, she said... I was going to say, I wonder did, if that was Loki. Like, um, like maybe the end of what happened at the end of Loki with all of the chaos and stuff like that, maybe that's what Charlize was pulling him to help with. But she said it was on him. Right. So maybe be, maybe they were... Who is she? <laughs> first of all. When she first popped up, I was like, TVA? <laughs> right. So like maybe it's like she's aware that Steven was doing something and so she assumed he... He was the cause. He was the cause. Maybe That could be. I don't know. But who is she? That's the question. And, her purple and now I'm trying to figure out, do I want to look her up? And figure out who she is. I feel like I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I feel like I can't. I can't help it. Y'all, who I've is she? Them... <laughs> just give us, just give us her give title. Us give her uh, her name, give her title, name. and the group of people she worked for. What master does she serve? Yes. <laughs> Let us know that, and then nothing else. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I... Yeah. I have. We have to go back and see it because I'm missing something. I feel like they kind of explained what what it was, but yeah. I'm I'm missing what Stephen did mm-hmm. to cause it. Other like than you him. said, it might just be an assumption that she's making. Yeah. But, I mean, the way she just sliced through the air and it was like purple and celestial. I was like, Dormammu. Yeah. Same. Finally, he's coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but where is she? Like, who is she? What's yeah, going where on? where did she come from? I don't know. Wild. Very wild. I I feel so bad for Steven in the third eye. He didn't ask for it. It's just popping out his forehead. Mm-hmm. He ain't got no headbands, nothing to cover it up. Mm-mm. when he in public what does it mean right. what can it do what it be seeing right and I'm almost I'm almost irritated by the the end of the film and then the first end credit scene because they showed us him all of a sudden in pain that should have been the end the next scene should have been something completely different I don't want to see him again just being like oh, okay I'm cool with it what happened in between those two that's moments that's why they did it I don't like that <laughs> that's exactly why I they don't did like it because it. it's like oh so now he's comfortable like he knows what's going on with this eye so now we're asking questions like how did you get familiar right how did y'all introduce I don't, yourself I don't like that it should just <laughs> end it with that and then just show Charlize slicing through something. saying where's Doctor Strange or in that moment being like hey you're gonna help me and him being like huh but I just figured this out like or I don't something. know what's going on. something mm. 
Um, it kind of no, gave me cut to rocket flying through space. Something, something else. like it kind of gave me that feel of what they did with the Morbius and credits. How it was just like these two scenes don't make sense, or like why did you why do this? Is it here? Why is it like this? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so that's like the second thing I guess I complain about. Yeah. <laughs> I just like I need to know what happened here. <laughs> make the connection. And then um, also, I don't appreciate their humor with the final end credit scene of just showing the man hit himself and then being like, that's it. It's over. Like, haha, you making fun of us because you know we wait until the end. I don't appreciate that. Give me a real in credit scene. The little kid behind us said a mouthful. He did. I wasted he was, my time. He, or that was a waste of time. He was not happy. <laughs> they were not happy that they waited yes. for that. All them credits Marvel be having. Uh-huh. Have you sit there waiting for nothing? I mean, yes, y'all all deserve your props and everybody deserves to sit for y'all. However. Tell your mama. I don't know you. Like, I didn't Thank need that. You. That would have been funny and then give me something else. Yeah. But I guess it's kind of... That could have been the first in credit. Like, ha ha, see what y'all did. Make us wait. And, and then, then give, us give us something. Some, something else. I mean, it does make sense for it to be the end to be like, okay, it's over. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like uh, almost how they did with the first Avenger. How at the end it was just like eating food. Eating. Mm-hmm. It was like, okay, that's funny. But yeah. then we, we've gotten used to having more substance. Yeah. And I wanted We got to detect. Substance. I was looking yeah. all in the background like, what's that arrow over there? Because I, I don't care about this man slapping I, himself. I... Was waiting to see Blade because we are supposed to get vampires from this not? multiverse. Why would we not? What's the next movie coming out? Thor. Thor. We ain't gonna get. Mo- we, that's not gonna They're gonna put it in the end credits of that one. Ha, like. Just throw it in. I'm just like, how are we going to explain? Like, there has to be something we missed where there's like another little portal that's open. Or something didn't get closed up all the something. way. And somebody's foot was sticking out. It's just, it's just, mm. it's just weird to me that we we had. Him and Spider Man, we get his movie, and then like there's absolute nothing. And yeah. I'm trying to think. I know when does this happen? When does oh, so it's after Spider Man. Yeah, and I know that you know a lot of the films have been delayed. Mm-hmm. I don't know how how much everything is in different orders and what they originally planned because I'm wondering if was this supposed to be before Spider Man and they switched things up on us? Right. I don't know. I don't know. remember. I don't remember what the original dates were supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Just to act like, oh, that didn't really happen. It was just it was a little, you know, a little multiverse thing that happened, yeah. and we don't need to talk about these other mm-hmm. things. I mean, there was some madness because they were jumping through. Yeah. But I was just expecting a little bit more chaos. I I enjoyed the film. Don't get oh, 100%, me wrong. Yeah, don't. Get... It's just not what I thought going in. I had different expectations. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's like I I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I just thought something different. Yeah. I honestly didn't expect so much stuff to happen in the daytime. I thought it was going to be dark. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah. I really did. Stuff happened at night. Because it was no supposed sneaky. to be a horror film. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't. No. It quite. wasn't a horror film. Um, I just wonder, are we going to see her again? I hope so. Um, She's at a Carmitage training. Yeah. So. Is she going to get her own series? Is she going to get her own movie? And I feel like there has to be some more explanation about who she is and like right. I mean, what was is she her born power? With the power? How where did she, she get from? It? Yeah. Um, what happened to her parents? Yeah, and she I'm gotta just, go on a hunt for for her mamas. Yeah, and just like, what is her power? Is her power only that she can jump through multiverses? Is that all she is? I mean, she throw a hell of a punch. She did. <laughs> but just like, but, what is her power? And I, she's going to be used in something. Yeah. I think I think it's going to be developed more because right now we know that she doesn't know how to control her power. So right. I think being at Comertage training with um, all those other sorcerers is going to help her mm-hmm. either hone in on her skills and kind of, I guess, just be able to, to understand who she is and how to use her right. power. Right, and why, why does this power exist? Yeah. Why does she need to be able to do this? And how is she the only one? Was there one before her? Right. Yeah, and I want. I want to. I want to know her her situation. It would. I guess it would make sense for her somehow to collide with Loki, and with Kang because they are clearly timelines, multiverses. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the thing. Or I'm getting confused too. There are different timelines in a single universe. Is that how it works? It's, that's my question because I don't. I don't remember what Kane was saying. If or whoever in the TVA was saying. The different timelines that is a different that's one of the multiverses i think that's how it works right because on each timeline there's a variant of you right 
which is the same as being in a different universe. Right? I feel like that's correct. Okay. So we have the main timeline, something branches off, that creates another universe. Or is it, here's one world that we have the main timeline, it might branch off and we try to fix it, and then there's another universe over here with its own set of timelines. I think if something creates a branch, maybe that's a... How can that create a separate universe? Right. Me not going to work on time. Right. Can create a whole nother reality? I feel like it's just another timeline in the same universe. You're, it would be yeah. the same people... Y'all, you just did. You just you made just, a different choice. You just made a different choice. But you're still the same version of yourself. Yes. Okay, so that that kind of makes sense. But so, then again, we have an alligator Loki and something else that y'all not the same people. That's a different no, universe. No, so, so what I'm saying, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm saying like if, if this is my main timeline, mm-hmm. say if I'm late to work, that causes a branch, and so it's still this version of me uh-huh. on a branch of this timeline or a branch of this, in this same universe. universe. Right. Yeah. But there is a turtle me. In another universe. Correct. Right. That was late to the pond. Right. Another branch. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's how I'm understanding okay. it. And so when Loki went and met all his different versions, he was meeting different universes. Correct. Yes. Okay. That's how I'm understanding it. Okay, yes. Yeah, because so we have because right. we have our Loki who died and also lived because Correct. of the other thing. And mm-hmm. that's one universe. Correct. Okay, so that being yes, yeah, so she still has to somehow collide with them. Because it's cause Kang's in control of all of the universe, not so just I'm our main she's time. like Kang, because Kang's like, you know, he's outside of time and whatever, or yeah. the TVA is outside of time because she's the only version in existence at all. Yeah. Is the same true for... Well, no, because there are different versions of Kang. There Kane. was different versions of Kang. Is she more powerful than Kang? How is it only one of you in all of existence? This is what I'm saying. So she's a nexus being, but I thought Wanda was a she's nexus Jesus. being. Child. I don't know. Um, I'm confusion. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> I... Mm-mm. <laughs> and so now I'm just, how much... I feel like I need to do research so that I'm clear, but I don't want to do so much research that it spoils something else. How do I research just to get understanding? Just to get enough. <laughs> I just want understanding. I don't want no... No... So I want to understand who she is, but I don't want to have it spoil whatever they have planned for her in uh-huh. the MCU. I see what you're saying. I'm still up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still I'm up. I'm going to have to. Mm-hmm. I don't know. This just... It blew my mind, confused me. Yeah. And I'm not going to say I was underwhelmed, but it blew my mind and confused me at the same time. Yeah. Like I said, I, en- I enjoyed it. Yeah. There were just things that I... I set myself up. Yeah. That was I play it. I played myself. <laughs> because I really thought we were getting this crazy multiverse and what the multiverse meant for me. Mm-hmm. But that's just not what happened. I honestly thought we would spend you know how like they were floating through different things, like they turned into paint and all that stuff. I thought we were spending more time in that type of environment. Like they're mm. running through the cosmos <laughs> trying to fight and like get stuff and whatever. Yes. In my brain. And we were run into different versions yes. of ourselves. We spend some time Along here the way. get sucked in doing this, get sucked and you know what? That was too much to be doing that and fighting Wanda. Yeah. Which is why I, I say, you know, how they introduced it first and then getting Spider-Man, it messed up my mind about mm-hmm. what I was going to be expecting. Yeah. And then them also telling us that we're going to get Fantastic Four. It just, and we know we were getting Blade. It just yeah. made me assume multiverse of madness. That means all of this stuff is spilling out mm-hmm. and Spider-Man was the cause of this. Yeah. But no. Apparently not. Apparently not. And I still, I, I'm still not 100% sure how this movie is going to spill into everything because I really thought it was going to affect Thor. It's going to yeah. affect everything else, and I'm not seeing that right now. Mm-hmm. So, like, we're going to get Thor, and I feel like that's going to be its own separate thing. Towards the end of that, we might see how it could start connecting to other stuff because mm-hmm. he's got to run up on Loki somehow, I feel like. He has to. So, I feel like that's going to connect to something. Yeah. And... I do know that they switched um, the release dates for Ant Man and um, the Marvels for next year. I think oh. uh, the Marvels was supposed to come out first, and then Ant Man, and mm-hmm. they switched it, so Ant Man's okay. coming first. But we still don't have a date for Blade that I'm aware of. I don't even know if they've even started filming that. No, I don't know. 
We still got to deal with Black Panther too. There's so much. We know all the black people are in it. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in the movie. Amber's Basically. in the movie. Leisha's in the movie. My mama's in the movie. Yeah, I got a couple cousins that's gonna be on screen too. Mm-hmm. It's about to get wild. Yeah. And and I I don't know I don't know what to think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are clear though that Wanda is not dead though, because she's she's getting rid of the dark holds and everything. I thought they were gonna t- say she was dead when the actual building crumbled on her, yeah. but I'm like, she can't get crushed by stone. There's, that don't make no sense. And we were seeing the dark hold disappear somewhere else, so I assume she's still alive. But what is she gonna be getting into? Yeah. If she's and what was that whole shrine temple like? What is the explanation behind that? Because. I, it's my understanding that the Scarlet Witch and Wanda Maximoff are separate, separate, and she like they she just inhabited her because of the um the Mind Stone, the Mind Stone. So it's, who was she before to be up on that thing? Right, like where where was that? How does how does the Scarlet Witch exist in time? Yeah, um, and I guess she looked like Wanda, kind of, sort of. And hmm. I'm wondering, did she somehow get trapped in the Mind Stone? Because the Scarlet Witch? Yeah. Because oh. you remember in that scene when they put her in the room with the Mind Stone, she saw the Scarlet Witch in the Mind Stone. So did she somehow get trapped oh, in the Mind Stone? Oh, snap. Huh. It was either that or it was like the Scarlet Witch was always in her and the Mind Stone brought out her true being. Right. I don't know. But if she was on the wall, what does that mean? Who was she, okay, be- who so was she before? Is she a being maybe that Maybe she's can- like a descendant. Of the, because I'm trying to think back to the scene in um, uh, WandaVision where they went to, they were doing like that seance thing in the graveyard or whatever, you know? She'd gone through with, um, what's that lady name? Agatha. And they were in there and it was like revealed that Agatha was like a witch. Oh, okay. And all the witches, the dead witches. Yeah, oh, like yes, a, you know what yes, I mean? yes, yes. So yes. I'm like, because they old, mm-hmm. they've been around ancient, right? Mm-hmm maybe Wanda has some lineage with the Scarlet maybe. Witch. And so, like you said, it was in her, mm-hmm. but the Mind Stone helped bring it out. Yeah. Um, what's, what's her family history? Right. Because the Scarlet Witch clearly existed before Wanda. Exactly. So, is it a situation where it's this, her spirit somehow got attached to Wanda through something? Yeah. I don't know. Or is it like, oh no, that's her people. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Because then, for me, it would make sense for, like, an ancient shrine to have been built and for it to look like her and right. it been there. But Wanda had no idea that that existed mm-hmm. um, until she got there. I don't know. I don't know. But what's she gonna, what's she gonna be getting into? Like, there's a lot yeah, of... Yeah, she can't be dead, so... And there's a lot of... of Do you think universes. she's finally, like, let go? I don't know. That she ain't got no children. And I don't know, maybe she's just like, I'm going to leave y'all alone. I'm going to go mess with some other people now. <laughs> I'm going I'm to destroy a couple of the, the dark holes for y'all to see. <laughs> I'm going to go I mess up with some about people. I all of them. Right. I'm going to keep mean, the one for me. <laughs> I mean, because how many universes are there? There's a lot. There's a lot. And if she, it's her mission to go and destroy them all. Like, I don't understand. Like, And I feel like she had that book long enough to have studied all the stuff that was in there. Because she, I mean, she had right. nothing else to do with her time. Right. She so was up in the mountains first. I don't think she needed the book. I don't feel like so she So when she kind of got upset about it, I was like, girl, it's in here. It's got to be. It's it's in your blood. It's in your veins. You got it. It's, it's you. It's you. I I, yeah, I don't think this is the last of, like, the scary Scarlet Witch. No, she got to come back. I think there's going to be more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd be I'd be surprised if she turned into some like Betty Crocker baking cakes. Right. Type. No, she can't I'm go just back. Get a job at the post office. Right. Like, I don't think that I don't, that's in her future. I don't think she's letting Wanda come out. She's a Scarlet Witch now. One hundred percent. But I like you said, I want it let there be mutants. Yeah. Or Say the words. something. Bring them out. Something. <laughs> she's like, fine, I can't have my kids. I'm a Everything else. And I and as you should, in my opinion, I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said like, all of this because she wanted them ready to children. Lord mercy, bless her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know if I have. Say one. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I don't think I have anything else. I don't either. Uh, I'm excited to go see it again so that I can, yeah. now that I know what the purpose of it is, I think I'll even enjoy it more Yeah, and be able to pick up on little things because mm-hmm. I definitely was not trying to pay attention for Easter eggs or anything like that. At first I was, and then there was too much stuff happening in yeah. the foreground. I was like, wait, 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 right. wait, let me look at these people's faces. Right. Let me hear the words that they say. I saying. wasn't paying attention. I only look at the pizza shop on the corner. No. <laughs> And like I said, once they, they brought out the Illuminati, I was just like... Sucked in. I'm focused on this. That's it. I ain't paying attention to nothing mm-hmm. else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I have to go back and watch it again for that kind of stuff. Yeah. And like you said, I'll, I'll be able to go in more relaxed this time because the expectations are gone. I know what I'm going to get. Mm-hmm. So I can just kind of enjoy the ride a little right. bit more. Yeah. Um, I do feel like I had a lot of anticipation watching it. Like, oh, this, something's going to happen. Or like... I'm right. bracing myself for something and then nothing actually happens. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. What? Like all the rumors I heard about who's going to be Tony Stark and the multiverse. Yeah. Ain't one. I ain't seen him. <laughs> Unless he was walking with a baseball cap in the background. Right. I missed it. <laughs> totally missed it. You know? He wasn't there. Um, yeah. yeah. I think that's it. That's, that's it. That's all I got. Um, y'all let us know in the comments what your favorite moments were for the film. Did it meet your expectations? Did you not like it? Why didn't you like it? Um, yeah, drop new comments too. I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. Let us know your your likes and dislikes. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll just we'll see you on the next one. one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.